Mayhem and High Tops here. Yes, I did get a haircut. Uh, they took off seven inches of hair. And they actually took off an inch more than I wanted. But they were, were trying to talk me into like donating. And I was like, I don't want to donate. I don't want to donate. And they still ended up coughing off an inch more than I wanted so that they could donate it. I, I know that's what happened. <sighs> Which aggravates me. And means that I won't be returning to that exact hairdresser again because I didn't like her. And I normally, I go to the same place every time and I go to the same girl every time. But the girl I wanted wasn't available and I was like, okay, that's fine. I will, sorry, I'm playing with my tripod, adjusting it. Um, I will just be a walk-in. I will go to somebody else. I had an appointment set and the girl that I normally see called out because she was super sick, which is fine, like that's whatever, like people get sick, but they should have had the courtesy to call me and be like, hey, she's not available, you can still keep your appointment though if you want to, right? right? I set up an appointment with my girl because I like her, she knows exactly how I want my hair cut, I've had the same haircut since I was in third grade. Right, side part, like straight down, slight bang, right, not hard. Anyways, that was my mini rant for my hairdresser today, or from my, for my hair day, for my hair today. Um, These are all the movies that I want to see in 2019. These are the ten, to my top 10 that I'm most excited for. And these are in no particular order. They are just set up by release date. And this is what I look forward to in 2019 movie wise. Uh, Legos 2. I actually really enjoyed the first Lego movies. It's one of the only things that I've enjoyed uh, Will Ferrell in. He played the voice of the bad guy and the father of the little boy playing with the Legos. Yeah. And it's, like I said, it's not one of the only things I've enjoyed seeing him in or hearing him in. He's not a good actor, but he's a good voice actor. So, you know, animation is where he thrives for me personally. Uh, Captain Marvel, which comes out in... Uh, March I'm excited for um, I'm excited because representation does matter and having more female superheroes on the big screen means more little girls will go I want to do that I want to be able to be like that and it sets those good habits basically because if there had been more superhero more women superheroes growing up I probably would have been more confident in my ability as a girl so uh avengers endgame which comes out on april 26 uh i'm super excited to see where they continue the avengers and where they continue continue the marvel plot line because of how not not they didn't they didn't screw it up in the last movie it just it's just the timeline or the plot got fucked up because of Thanos <laughs> so like I'm excited to see where it leads from there and how they fix it and stuff like that uh Next movie is they're making a Hellboy, another one, and I don't know if it's a continuation of the early 2000 ones, mid 2000 ones, or if it's a whole new set created by DC. I believe Hellboy is DC, right? Or am I wrong? Let me know down in the comments if I'm wrong or not, because I don't read the Hellboy comics and I probably should because I actually really enjoyed the Hellboy movies growing up. And I know that there are comics. So I should probably look into that. But yeah, that comes out on April 12th. And then the next movie is Aladdin, the live action one that comes out 
uh, right around my birthday, actually. It comes out at May 24th, and my birthday is May 28th. So, I'm excited for that. I actually really liked Aladdin growing up. I really liked the Renaissance age. And I feel very closely connected to this movie because it's one of those movies that we own on VHS. So, yeah. Uh, the next movie I'm excited for comes out in June. Or the next two come out in June. One on the 14th and one on the 21st. Uh, the one on the 14th is Men in Black International. I grew up watching the Will Smith Men in Black movies. Um, both one and two. Like, the first one came out when I was in, I think, first grade. And it's one of those movies that we went and saw in theater as a family. So I'm very highly connected to this movie series. I didn't like the third movie. But I'm excited to see where it goes from there. Because it says international as a title line. So is it... I wonder if they'll keep some of the original characters we've seen. Or move on to a whole new cast. And the next movie I'm excited for is Toy Story 4, which comes out on June 21st. Um, again, I have a very good connection to the Toy Story movies because I grew up watching those. The first one came out before I was even born. So, like, I grew up watching Toy Story. So, to be able to see a franchise grow and still make content for younger audiences but still hold the attention of an older audience is amazing to me and I'm just super excited to see where they go with the Toy Story because of how they left the third movie with Andy donating, donating his toys to that little girl and all that. Uh, the next movie I'm excited for comes out on July 15th. It's Spider-Man Far From Home. Um, I'm excited to see what they do with this because they killed Peter Parker. If you haven't seen that movie, I'm sorry, there there are spoilers. Um, they killed Peter Parker in Infinity War, and I, I'm excited to see what they do. I don't know much about what happened because I actually haven't seen Infinity War yet. But I'm excited to see what they do with the Spider-Man franchise because I know they killed Peter Parker. Like, it, it's been out for over a year now. If you don't know that, then I'm sorry. And the next movie I'm excited for is It Chapter 2. I actually... The very first actual horror movie I remember seeing was at a sleepover when I was in third grade and it was the original It, chapter one and two, and I remember being scared of clowns for the rest of my life <laughs> because I was a little young to be watching those, but because of that I sparked this whole I like horror movie thing or I like cheesy horror movies now. So, being able to see them take a cheesy horror movie, well, it's cheesy now, but at the time it wasn't cheesy because it was actually really well done for the time, but to be able to see them grow, again, it's that whole renewing of content and being able to capture an audience's heart over and over again, even with the same thing. And then the next movie I'm excited for comes out in November, and it's the last movie I'm excited for, which is Frozen 2. I actually didn't mind Frozen. Um, I didn't mind Olaf. I didn't mind any of that. I didn't mind how big it got. I actually really liked the music. I did get a little tired of those, everybody singing Let It Go, Let It Go, and that memes. But here's what I have to say. Olaf is not as annoying as the minions. Minions can go to hell. I hate the minions. Minions are dead. I hate this. I love the original Despicable Me. And I loved like Despicable Me 1 and 2. 
but I hate the minions. Like, if I watch them by myself or I watch them with friends, I beg to, like, fast forward through the minion scenes because the minion scenes are awful. <laughs> They're so time consuming for no reason. I don't even know why they got their own movie. Oh. I'm done. Mini rant over. Yeah, Frozen 2, which comes out uh, November 22nd, which is right around Thanksgiving. Those are my top 10 movies that I'm excited for for 2019. Um, I have a list of movies that I'm going to re-watch. If I can flip to that page. And that I want to re-watch because I haven't seen them I in many years or something. And these are movies that affected my way of thinking. And how I view the world. And it's been a year or two since I've seen them. And yeah. I That's going to be my next video. Um are movies that affected me growing up. So, you know, look forward to that. This has been Mayhem and High Tops. Peace.